Good morning, welcome to the workshop. I'm Ron and today I'd like to discuss paint stripping of your disassembled Angle Poise 1227 lamp. So when you've stripped down your 1227 lamp and you wish to remove the surface finish, there's a couple of choices. You could simply use a abrasive paper and then uh, rub it down by hand. It's an effective, easy method. You do run the risk of taking away too much aluminium and maybe rounding the, uh, the corners a little bit. But if it's just a small area and you wish to touch it in, then that's a good solution. There's also a chemical paint strippers available. But you wish to be really careful because most chemical paint strippers have an adverse effect on aluminium and on the plastic pivot point and spacers. So if you wish to use a chemical paint stripper, ensure that it has a, an aluminium safe formula. What we tend to use, maybe a bit of a shock, is Dettol. I know it sounds daft. The details of exactly which Dettol you want to use is in the uh, the box down here. But it must have chlorooxylenol. That's the active ingredient which would strip the paint. And the good thing is it's aluminium safe. And it doesn't really want to try to kill you with its fumes. Unless you don't like that dead oil hospital freshness smell. But we use this. So the first thing you need is a container large enough to be able to hold the components. But small enough for you to be able to afford the dead oil to be able to fill it up. In this case we have the uh, base cover plate. The... Uh, lower yoke, upper yoke, the forearms and the shade. Now in this tray here I'll put these components as flat as I can and then cover that with that oil. Now it takes about 24 hours for this to work, so just leave it where it is. We also use a small container for the upright. And then we simply put in the arms. Normally forward fit in, but on this occasion, this arm has actually snapped and it's got a repair on it, so you won't get them all in. But pretty much that's it. We'll let it do its work for 24 hours, take it out, turn it over, and it'll find that it'll take off all of that paint. I've used uh, two litres there, but that bath will do a lot more. Welcome back, magic of television. It's now 24 hours later. Let's review the progress our paint strip has made. Now that we're actually touching the chemical, we need to look at safety precautions. First of all, glasses, and then some chemical safe gloves. Now you can see the effect of the paint stripper. How it's starting to lift all of the paint. See how it's pretty much just falling off. It's 
what I need to do is go and wash that off and turn it over to expose the sections that haven't been paint stripped. So ensure you have your personal protective equipment on, gloves and goggles. Remove the first piece from the solution and just clean it in this water. Here's the uh, fork. Some of the uh, more stubborn paint may need to be treated a few times. But bear in mind we are using that oil and all the benefits of it there not being aggressive to the aluminium and not wanting to be aggressive to you or the environment. It's worth it. Here's the, uh, the base cover plate. Still quite a bit to come off that one, but it usually takes a few attempts. You can see the effect of just one bath. Very effective, considering it's just a general purpose house detergent. But the important thing is, it's not damaged any of the aluminium. Obviously, I'll continue to treat this until it's all stripped of paint. So with the magic of television, we shall come back and that 24 hours and see what the results are then. You can see this time the second bath has made a much better job of removing the paint from the centre forks. A little bit what's left on the bottom of the arms. So I'll just uh, take these out and give them a wash and see what paint remains. Certainly much more effective this time. It's a little bit left on the right in it, which is embossed. But most of it has come off. Obviously this lamp's about 50 year old. So taking one or two days to strip the paint off it isn't going to be much of a problem. I've had it on for 50 years, a couple more days aren't going to make a difference. So that's more or less all I can get off with this treatment. Doesn't take much effort. It looks like there'll only be a little bit around the, the edge where it hasn't been completely submerged. But I'll get that the second time, or the third time I should say. You can see there's a little bit of paint left ingrained into the uh, embossed name. But that'll come off with the third and final bath. but it's pretty much done and all with the power of Dettol so I'll give that another day come back and wash it just the same and any little bits which are left will be dressed down with a bit of emery cloth 1800 grit and I'll show you what that looks like okay, next time so here we are again this is the last uh, bath it should need. 
This is a spark plug cleaning brush, bit of a, a wire brush. So I'm going to get stuck into this and clean the rest of it off and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done. As you can see, I managed to get all of the all the paint and got the embossed writing. So that's that bit done. So it's just a case of getting the rest of it off. Making sure everything's well rinsed. Any stubborn bits, you can use a more abrasive brush. So as you can see, everything's been stripped. Remember to use the correct type of that all. Details are in the description. So we're ready to progress to the next stage, which will be the uh, repair of the broken arms. And on this shade, the removal of dents and scratches. Remember there's more articles on our website at www.relightlamps.com please come and visit thank you very much for your support hope this video helped until next time